In business tonight, Hong Kong's economy is being forecast to make its way out of recession this year. But Financial Secretary Paul Chan says it will take five more years of deficits before the city balances its books. He's unveiled a $15 billion relief package in his budget speech. But there are a few sweeteners compared to last year. Roland Lim with this report. This year's budget focuses on stabilising the economy and relieving people's burden. The green pea colour motive of this year's financial blueprint offers green shoots of hope. To support a recovery in consumer and business activity, $650 digital vouchers will be dished out to local residents. Last year, it was a $1,300 cash handout. Distributing vouchers instead of a cash handout, says lawmaker Alice Mark, would encourage people to spend more to revive the economy instead of saving the money. But she was disappointed that another round of wage subsidies, the government helping employers keep workers by helping to pay their wage bill, wasn't on the cards. The uh, special 100% loan gar uh, guarantee loan scheme uh, is an, an alternative to help those uh, unemployed, but it can definitely not replace our long uh, uh, requested uh, unemployment subsidy scheme. So uh, I think the labour sector will work together to go for the, uh, the aim, that is to urge the government to set up a comprehensive um, unemployment subsidy scheme. Unemployment is at a record high, with a 7% jobless rate. For those finding it hard to make ends meet, they can apply for a low interest rate loan of up to 10,000 US dollars at the banks, repayable within five years, guaranteed by the government. There are cuts to the profits and salaries tax and a waiver on business registration fees this year. And the tourism and technology sectors will also be receiving some support. On the revenue side, the government will increase the stamp duty for stock trading by 30%, from 0.1% to 0.13%. And to raise regional competitiveness, the government will also be pursuing to join the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, trade pact which currently has 15 Asia-Pacific members. On the travel front, Hong Kong will also be working closely with the economies that have close economic and trade ties, and where the pandemic is relatively stable to form travel bubbles. Hong Kong and Singapore are already in close discussions, and more cities may be included, although no time frame was given.